doesn't look like a computer case, does it? But it is. And besides looking great, it has some interesting details like this wood top, which is awesome. Now, this is the Fractal Design Era 2, a sleek and elegant case so that we can build our PC, allowing us to choose every single component that we want, including the motherboard, power supply, CPU, RAM, cooler, GPU, SSDs, hard drives, and more. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. Building a computer sometimes sounds scary, but it's not. It's so easy and really a fun project. And in a few days, I will share with you how easy it is to assemble a computer with this setup right over here. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing it so. And while you are there, don't forget the usual thumbs up. This is one of the most beautiful cases I've seen, if not the most beautiful. It's incredibly elegant and available in three colors. This is the charcoal version, but it's also available in silver and blue. And it's not the standard boxy case. It has some amazing curves right over here with these really nice lines and details that stand out. And this will also depend on the light environment. To open the case is just as easy as removing the top cover like this. And then I just need to remove the drawer from the dust filter, which will unlock the system and will allow me to just bam, there we go. And of course, this system is already assembled, but I will share with you my whole experience. The frame looks like a single piece of metal because of this awesome design. But if we look closely, we can see the seams right over here between the different panels. But nonetheless, it looks awesome. And although it looks small, there's space for everything. It will support up to two 2.5 inch drives, SSDs or hard drives on the removable tray, plus two more behind the motherboard. It uses an SFX power supply, which are smaller than the standard ATX units that we usually use. And the power supply, it's easy to install as well. We just need to remove the tray, then just screw the PSU onto the tray, slide it back, and that is it. We can then connect the extension cable included. It supports ITX motherboards, and I'm using the Asus ROG Strix Z890i Gaming, paired with an Intel Ultra Core 9 285 5K, 32 gigs of Kingston Fury RAM and a 2 terabyte Sabrent Rocket 5 SSD. It supports low profile air coolers or water coolers like the one that I'm using here and it will support radiators up to 31.5 centimeters. I'm using the NZXT Kraken Z53 which has 24 centimeters so it will leave us plenty of space. The removable top part of the inside frame made installing the radiator and managing cables a lot easier. It's a feature that I did use multiple times while I was building this setup. And then the GPU, it will fit up to 32.6 centimeters in length, but I did install a Asus RTX 4060 Dual, which is only 22.5 centimeters long, so no issues whatsoever. Once we are okay with our setup like I am right now, I just need to put the frame back, and then if we have any cable here or the tubing from our cooler, we just need to adjust, but a small adjustment, and as we can see, it will just slide back in place. Then we just need to grab this piece, which is the dust tray, that is it, locked. Now, if I put it like this, it will not fall, which is awesome. Some really awesome details. And then finally, the wood top. I was so enthusiastic that I didn't mention the cable management, but it was easy. I just found one minor difficulty, and that is on the part of the power supply where all the cables will come out so that we can connect to the GPU, to the motherboard, and so on and so forth. We'll have a lot of cables on this area, and if you are going to use a all-in-one cooler with the radiator like I did, it has two fans, and what was happening was that the cables were pushing against the fence. But after a couple of minutes just adjusting the cables in the direction that they will go, I was just fine, then put it back and 
boom i was ready to put it on my setup right over there with a dual screen and then just press the button by the way it has a really elegant io at the front as well with a really nice button with a led inside and once we boot up then we can install the operating system that we want and we can start installing our apps not really sure if we are going to look at the screen or if we are going to look at the case but nonetheless as long as we are having fun that is great so in my opinion for someone that is thinking about building a setup and wants to have besides fun at the end of the project one really awesome case that in my opinion we can put it anywhere on a living room on an office on a bedroom anywhere i believe that this case will look just great and besides looking great on the outside really easy to use and to assemble that being said hope that you enjoyed the video if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one